This is the sound of one voice, one spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice. This is the sound of one voice. This is the sound of one voice. This, this is, is the sound, sound of voices too. The sound of me singing with you. Helping each other to make it through. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices too. This is the sound of voices three, singing together in harmony, surrendering to the mystery. This is the sound of voices three. This is the sound of voices three. The sound of all of us singing with love and the will to trust. Leave the rest behind, it'll turn to dust. This is the sound of all of us. This is the sound of. What are they singing about? They're going to tell us the story of Christ's birth through a Greek Christmas song. What did they say? What did they say? 
They just sang about how Jesus was born in a major surrounded by animals. What was that verse about? That was about the angels appearing to the shepherds.
Ooh, I heard them say Persias. Were they saying about the Magi from Persia? Yes, they were. Thank you for singing for us. That was great. Hmm. What's wrong? I don't see how you can all be so excited about Christmas when the world seems so dark. How can you feel like celebrating at a time like this? We can celebrate because we have faith, hope, and love. Our hope, our hope helps us know that things can and will get better, no matter how dark it seems. Our faith gives us the strength to believe that God will be there for us through all of our troubles. We decided to go caroling this year to share our faith and hope, but especially our love. Our love is what helps us make the world better now. No act of love is too great or too small. Every time you do something for someone out of love, it makes their world a little bit brighter. If we all take the time to make sure we act with love every day, one day we can change the world for better.
Can we get a picture from the loft, someone? Try to squeeze in as best we can, I'm sorry. And how about another round of applause for our Sunday characters in school? I just want to take a moment um, to acknowledge the amazing work that goes into this. And year after year, I think you'll find that we somehow do something new. Um, and it's not always the same. Not to put down any you know, thing about repetition being problematic, but there are so many people using creative energies, these God-given talents. Uh, in particular, I want to acknowledge Marina Kalitsis. Marina, who is an alumnus who's too shy to stand up. <laughs> A young adult of our community, graduate of all of our programs, and Jenny Flannery. Is Jenny here? Who is also very helpful. There you are, Jenny. Thank you. And all of our Sunday school teachers, can you stand up as well so we can applaud you? And our helpers, Bobby and Julia. And Tasha Labadee, where's Tasha? Thank you, Tasha, our Sunday school director. And of course, Cindy Zanicki, who wears so many hats. And, and the youth choir, of course, who you'll hear again next Sunday night. And all of our beautiful children, once again. May we all take this time to reclaim the child in all of us, um, because we have, of course, the Christ child coming to us, to our homes. He knows every fiber of our being. God became man for us. And these children are beautiful icones, icons of love, of innocence, of purity. And that same message that they proclaim today of love overcoming all things, light over darkness, we all can learn from them and become like them, thereby entering the kingdom of God. Thank you all for being with us today and let's enjoy some fellowship downstairs. Once again, congratulations to everyone. Bravo, Pedia.